Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 28. It's the 22nd of July, 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello. <laughs> oh God. Hello. I'm Nico. Hi there. Uh, Zora, the vice captain. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I'm Alex. I play Nix5, the android mechanic. Hello, I'm Colin. I'm playing Michael Quint. Sneaky, spooky, etc. Hello, I am Callum. I am playing Zig, mystic, Everyone. space, rat, sun. Mm. I feel like this <laughs> this week is sponsored by Valium. Never, <laughs> not even once. I've never, never even attempted Valium. <laughs> so yeah, I am. Brilliant. I'm just going to get stuck straight in. So, goals, guys. Where's pizzas? Really Always bad. believe. Do you just want to do goals first or do you want to do a recap first? Recap? Let's do a recap it's first. Recap <laughs> first because my brain recap is mush. Right. You can go better. What happened? How about. You, let's do time. the session backwards. Let's finish the session, right? How did you enjoy it then, Zig? Start us off. Do you know what? My favourite part, right? Lyco and Nix's argument was just the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> His desktop is awful. Don't, don't try deflate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It was so good. Um, I'm glad that everyone's safe now and um, everyone's definitely not dead. Yeah, uh, sure. It definitely is a backwards opinion, that, isn't it? So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had an opinion once. Uh, definitely, again, like, backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a microtransaction away. Um, <sighs> imagine. When, when I do them, they're macro transactions. God, <laughs> what we could do is at the end of each session, we'll just we'll we'll cliffhanger on multiple options, and if people just pay us like an auction where we get all the money, then we'll just the the highest amount of money wins in a specific option. Yeah, we should do that. I then. like it. I like that idea. Yeah. And I like it. More, yes. I feel like I am. You know very important presence in this uh, so you know well, it's, it's, it's mostly going to be you and Zig that. that I'm going to probably make big decisions constantly it seems <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a terrible idea so yeah it'd be great it's like if you would like Zig to make this decision pay us this much if you would like Lyco to make this decision pay us that much as well but in a different account <laughs> um, <laughs> my PayPal is not going to be mentioned here yeah so anyway Let's do the recap. What did you just remember last time? Uh, Nick had some really interesting stuff going on. Mm. I got super spooky. Yeah. Mm. And, uh. No, I'm not going to say what I just said. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that LEDs changing colour without sounding like a massive racist. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, probably. Right. Probably. Uh, you mean you could probably avoid that, I think. Like, I think that's probably something that could be done. I, I mean, I could, but yeah. And here we are. Uh, yeah. That's just right, so let's let's go through that. Yeah. Right. So tell us what what happened to to Nick Five I've last down time. Down my Alice. Mm -hmm. well, spoke to Query for a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spoke to Query. No good sausage. Went down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's looking glasses. Everything done it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I set about getting her out. It was fine. Um, yeah, I I have been I have become query the destroyer of worlds, <laughs> destroyer of <laughs> systems. I know, can I yep. hear it too? <laughs> <laughs> I have become gigabyte. Um, Do you hear it, Skull? <laughs> right. What else happened then? That's Some what happened. Next. Mm. Some oh. yeah. Next. No, you go. You go. Oh, well, just loads of fighting of zombie peoples. Um, we saved Shakos. That's the name. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, Shakos. Yeah, Shakos. you got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we we managed to fight our way to Shakos. Mm -hmm. Um, we've not entirely saved all all ourselves yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. You're on the way back, I believe. I don't think you made it back to the ship. And, uh, we're in the elevator. I think we ended in the elevator. Yeah, I think you just made it all the way back to the, the elevator. 
Oh. That's when the, the weight limit goes off, right? And you're like, but there's only so many of us oh, in the elevator. No. <laughs> 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 Not a reference, we don't own that. No, we don't <laughs> own that at all. Um, but, in the... Just can't be any more. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> it really doesn't. No, it really does uh, not. No. Oh no, sorry, sounds like I'm too big, so isn't it? Uh, we oh, are uh, specifically quoting Metal Gear. I don't know, that, I don't know what Metal Gear is. <laughs> it's some type of Metal Gear. Um, sorry, I just I, I wasn't paying much attention. I, I caught on the idea of something being in the elevator there shouldn't be, and I was like, I remember Hannibal. <laughs> then I realised it wasn't Hannibal, it was Silence of the Lambs. Mm-hmm. Right? Or am I confused? You're confused? I fucking read it, I should know. But anyway, what happened in space? Find a drow girl. Mm-hmm. Um, no gamer girls, unfortunately. Nah, no bathtubs either. That's no fine. bathtubs. <laughs> no, no topical rare. Yeah. It's, it's all a, it's all a It's unlike us, quite frankly. Um, you know, we we, we had uh we had the the computers did their computer stuff in computer space. Mm. Wow. Computers. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know that does feel like it would be a slur towards androids. Yeah, well, we know where you stand. Um, I won't take the rise. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we've kind of caught up then. Let's do goals. Let us do the goals. So, Michael, I think I need one for you. Yes. Uh, that's kind of tough at the moment, actually. I, I did mention like last time I'd have to have a think about it, and I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> or anything for that matter uh, no I, I really don't know what a good pressing goal would be for me um, what do you want next for like then like what what is it that you would like next for him for Lyco specifically or for the game is sort of the question because I uh, guess both. Like, if they're different give me both well I think I think the next step is you want to sort of take a step back and regroup and where do we go after who do we speak to you know who are we going to say look Absalom you know it's 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 gone to shit mm. you know what what, what is our next gone. port of call I guess you could say determine that but that's kind of a naff it, goal it could even be um, secure a new location or something right Acquire? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that would make sense as a yeah. sort of party goal. But for for, for Lyco specifically, uh, I'm, I'm still not sure. Well, I mean, you could always have that as Lyco's goal, and if the party chip in, good enough, right? But at the moment, it seems like something that Lyco might be like, right, we need to go, we need to get our, you know, feet beneath us again, etc., etc. I think I do actually have a bit of a goal for him. So... Well, if you never think, think about, about it, I'll, I'll, you think about the wording of it, right? And I'll come, I'll swing through everybody else, and we'll see how yeah, we okay. go on, right? Uh, Zig, fix next. Atone for my sin. <laughs> so, what does atone for your sin look yeah. like to Callum? Um, everyone just goes, "Oh, it's okay, buddy," and uh, Zig goes, "Yay!" Right. So, seek the crew's forgiveness. Seek the cruise forgiveness, yes, indeed. Experience nil consequences. <laughs> Experience <laughs> no <beige>. consequences <laughs> for killing well, why, why, why don't you do that then? Um, why don't you change that to seek the, the cruise forgiveness? He's going the Craig play. Experience no consequences for your bad decisions endangering people. Okay. It wasn't my fault. Ah, this is one of the things that there's actually nothing to forgive and none of the crew actually hold in against you. Yeah, I mean, no. I'm which not. I actually think is the case. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. But it makes sense that he wouldn't think that. Mm. Yeah, of course, he's young. He's probably overthinking it, for sure. And I like that. It's Callum's cool. overthinking it, Jesus. I assume you all hate me now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Not yet. Anyway, uh, moving swiftly on. Oh, that awkwardness. Uh, and then, yeah. I'm never awkward. Zora. Mines are still fine. I feel keep the party safe while on Absalom. It's still an ongoing thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it's alright. Yeah, I mean, you've failed, right? Because two are dead. Yeah. What? <laughs> They're not dead yet. We'll save them. We'll get them at a Nexus Limbo. 
<laughs> Leads, we can live it. <laughs> right, okay. So you want to keep that gold then, do you? Yeah, it's fine. Um, how are you? <laughs> I, I'm completely fine, thank you. Right, okay. So keep the party safe while in action. I can see you're an expert of diplomacy. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh, Nix. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Keeping as is, updating. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty on track for those, so it would be a shame to ruin it. Yep, I'm going to hug a show bad. Okay. Uh, Shamed off bad. by their mighty arms. So, saved my waifu. Um, safe escape to Akaton, <laughs> not smeared across the cosmic tarmac. Yep. Yes. You get a token Skittermander character. Because wow. we need a token Skittermander. What, well, do you want to make that your goal? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Gain a token <laughs> Skittermander. <laughs> Zick is no longer as adorable as he wants to us. Or is reckless. You, set the, <laughs> you get to set the quotas. <laughs> we need a Skittermander. <laughs> Just like Six. You, oh. you finally replace Emmeline on the crew roster, and it is just a Skittermander. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's uh, not training anything. It's got sex arms, though. <laughs> it could be uh, trained in sex things. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Oh, yeah, because Zora knows two things, and Zora has two arms. It knows diplomacy and war. KD. <laughs> no, 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 no assault rifle and I know Dosko. <laughs> Yeah. So, right, okay. Yeah. Cast gun. Feel free to write that in as your uh, pending goal, by the way. Not cast gun, but uh, acquire a skit amender if you really want one. <laughs> um, I mean, I can make that happen. Just randomly screech at the mic a couple of times and then just wreck bits of the ship. Yeah, that sounds standard. Yeah. And then, um, right, Lyco, we're swimming back to you. That's an excellent idea. Um,. Because I have nothing. Um, I'm still <laughs> really struggling at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know in the immediate future. I think, like, I've fired through a few goals recently. Yeah, but it's still good to have stuff to work on. So what if it is just um, something well, like... Well, yeah, what I was thinking really to like, oh, I guess, was... Uh, obviously, oh. with the situation with um, Cindy mm -hmm. there is a sort of question mark over what how to phrase it, support Lyco can count on, regarding mm. like, he, he obviously was, was working with them for a reason, it was to do with understanding, uh, perhaps not necessarily curing, but so is it maybe reaching avoid the consequences of his condition? So is it what, reaching out to the, like, what, another bone sage, or? It, it could be that, or finding uh, a new, or whatever, uh, you know, not necessarily new, it could be re-establishing contact with Cindyel if he's, you know, mm -hmm. still a thing. <laughs> yeah. still, it's still extant, well, in as much as he can be. Um, if, if, if it's that, then yeah, re-establish contact when possible. But I think in the immediate time, he's going to be thinking, right, I sought this guy out for a reason. I mean, not, he's not being mercenary. He's like, oh, I didn't sit, seek my, I was willing to take on this role for a reason. I need someone to fill that function now like uh, i go where this takes me essentially like he 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 isn't he doesn't probably feel terribly bound to go to another bone stage because he doesn't feel any particularly loyal to the eox i mean why would he he's not mm -hmm. eox um but i think he definitely wants uh to pursue knowledge of uh, of, of of the uh, sort of Barai condition, mm -hmm. yeah. In order that he may, as I say, like you know, avoid crumbling to dust in two hundred years' time or whatever. Yeah. Well, why do you have that like worded as a goal then? Why do we have that added in? Um, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, it kind of is basically what I've got in my longer term goal, but <laughs> yeah, it was kind of uh, like his long term goal, right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it really is. Let's say discover something new about the Barai condition or something like that. Something along the lines uh, of that. Find. Oh, I was thinking more like because he's not really the person with expertise to do it himself, but find a new, you know, third party who can assist him in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
find new source of Barai information, I'm going to phrase it as. I know that's vague. But yeah, that's, we can work with that, though. I think we can obviously refine the goal if we have to, but yeah, we can definitely work with it just now. That's a good one. Gives me an idea of what you're looking for, which is the whole point. Um, oh, so there's a point to this now? Yeah, weirdly. <laughs> like, Shit! <laughs> Secretly woven through the entire length of time we've played this game, you reveal the point. <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, right, so currently I've got find new source of Barai information, uh, <laughs> fix Nix, seeks Cruz forgiveness, um, whoever Cruz is, uh, keep the party safe while in Absalom, save my waifu, uh, Escape to Akaton. Yeah. So, let's... Unless MJ's wanting to do any last minute changes, I think we're good to start. I think we're good. Or I'm good. Let's rock it. Yeah, let's go for it. So... Let's raccoon it. We, we <laughs> are... Um, Ow. Let's see. I think we'll open in the 11th hour. Okay. There is um klaxon alarms going off in the the distance outside the ship. Um there is a probably alarms going off inside the ship, which is like you know, instability sensors, I guess. Which are apparently a thing the ship has now. And yeah, we see SK Isabel running around inside of the ship being like Nix five and then like moving from like room to room and um, like heading into the cockpit looking in all the actual rooms until she like <laughs> goes into the suicide pact Romeo and Juliet room <laughs> uh, <laughs> where she just looks at it and is like what the fuck <laughs> and she just kind of stands there like I am not fucking dying on this station and then she just like runs to the engine room um, oh and my fucking god yeah and then we just, we kind of just cut from there, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Since, I mean, if you remember last time, Nix5 went standing in the corridor with all the broken escape pods that he's quite clearly dismantled himself. <laughs> he then said, yeah, if you could stay here and just look at the back door, uh, I'll be back in a second, and goes and kills himself in a room <laughs> with a dead robot. Like, yeah, it looks pretty fucking suspect. <laughs> In my defence, if she did what she was told, she wouldn't be panicking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think you can call that. Like, I don't think that's. Uh, <laughs> you like the fact that she found you guys? It was like a mild relief to her panic, right? Um, but yeah. What so. <laughs> so yeah, we 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 open and close on that little uh, scene there, and then we go to a. Uh, White space. Again. So, after the holding of hands, walking off into the darkness, you find yourself in that strange white room again uh, that you're in with Query. Uh, and it's you and Alice. And. Yeah, I, I guess you both look different. Like, you both kind of look like. Um, more internal visuals of yourselves, you know? So, be that as more or less human, you know? It's whatever your kind of self-image kind of conjures up. Um, so, like, what do we see in... Like, if when we look at Nyx, then? Like, if the camera's looking at him, like, what is Nyx's kind of, like, inner self viewpoint, you know? How does he look? Um, I think his face is probably a lot softer mm -hmm. um, than the kind of the fairly grim paint job that it normally has yeah it's usually quite a stark kind of skull shaped painting on the face um, and quite dark than the rest of him mm -hmm. um, and yeah it would be without any of his armour probably wearing a more traditional this kind of uh, robe kind of mm -hmm. style um, from some of his travels. Um, it was kind of 
yeah, probably still got the tool belt on. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, he's. Yeah, I like the idea that obviously the way he sees himself like is with like a tool belt. That's kind of cool. Mm. Um, that does feel very, <laughs> very Nyx. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's probably still like the same height and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I think probably almost without the LED strips as well. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, he's uh, at least they're less apparent. Yeah, he is definitely looking more, um, I guess, smooth mm -hmm. and less clearly constructed. Yeah, like a bit less mechanical looking and a bit more organic looking, I guess, in a way. Like, yeah, but like not organic without necessarily picking a side. Yeah. You know. You wouldn't call him human or Lashinta or anything. Mm -hmm. But um but yeah. Nice. I like it. Um Right. So when you look at Alice and we, we we have the visual of obviously you and then it, it swings round and we get the visual of her. We have um like a much more human looking kind of visual now. Still clearly like artificial as such. Um <coughs> which felt bad to see. Um but yeah, it's um kind of like half shaved in side to one head, like of the hair. Um, here down one side, kind of like pinkish colour to the plating on her face. Um, so it's very skin tone esque. And uh, yeah, let me see if I've got a handout that will show people. Uh, two seconds, I just need to make sure I actually assign this next thing as Nix5. Are you Nix5 Rebuild? Is that what you, you are? Or is it just Nix5? Uh, just Nix5. Okay. Rebuild is. Waiting for the character monster. Cool. Because I, I will go here. Green with stamina points. I just have to make remake a token. That's all. Uh, blue was resolve points, wasn't it? I probably messed these up. Sure, I'm how which way around it went? Because I think that's the way it went. I think. And let's see. You've got dark vision sixty, right? Yep. So in theory, if I save that, that is not the button I wanted to hit to save, but that's fine. Edit token, save changes, that's the one I wanted to change. Edit this, and save this here. Yeah, cool, save that, perfect. Just making some updates there, good. That's fixed now that that's done. <laughs> My game just decides to reload. And yeah, so we see Alice. Uh, let me just share the handout I've prepared. Where are you, Alice? So, and we get this. As I said, she spent this what year with you guys, being part of the crew, etc. And you just get this in the visual. So I just came across that artwork myself. It's nice. It's very, very mm -hmm. nice. So props to the artist. And yep. um, yeah, Thank the. As I Josh said, Norman. There you go. Josh Norman, down here. Artstation.com forward slash yep. Josh Norman. Thank you very much for uh, your beautiful art. And <laughs> yeah, so we have this like very, very different version of Alice, her inner self viewpoint. And uh, yeah, that's that's what we got. That's what we were looking at. And she's just staring at you in the kind of white space and she's kinda like almost expecting you. To speak, you know. That is cool. Um. Does Nick say anything to her, or? <laughs> um, sorry, I was closing out some other things. Um. I think he, yeah. Kind of looks over and acknowledges, probably internally, that she's changed. Um, I think he probably 
he's not feeling it's his place to comment. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think he kind of, yeah, probably quite awkwardly, um, starts thinking about the next step. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know how to get from here? She's kind of looking around, and she's like, where is here? Still with us? Sorry, I don't think I'll come out there. It's okay. So her, she looks at you and she's like, Where is here? Hello? Yep, you're with us still. Hello. That's a bit to return. I did have some issues earlier, but they resolved really quickly, so I didn't mention because other people were speaking. But I This is when uh, I did a robot <laughs> for several people. In the white space, he just like disconnects. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yep. Exactly as predicted. Alice lost forever. No. Give me a wee second or two. We can cut away and cut back if need be. That's what I thought. Our interlude music is sponsored by Callum. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear us now, Alex? Hello. Hello. Can you hear us now? <laughs> uh, Discord decided to disconnect me five times. Brilliant. That was great. In a matter <laughs> like of seconds. Disconnect cords. Yeah. Ha. Uh, anyway, that was a, that was a new I need The holiday. So. <laughs> So next yes. five, her reply to your question, <laughs> yes. do you know how to get from here? She says, she looks around and she goes, where is here? I think we've been through here before. Certainly I have. Um, right. Have you... Have you been here before? She looks around. She's like, oh, it's not very memorable. It's just like white space. <laughs> I just thought you might have been when we met in the archive. And she looks at you and she's like, did we? What archive? The Law Spire? Right. And she looks at you like, she clearly knows you expect her to know what you mean. But she's kind of doing that thing where she doesn't want to look stupid. Have you ever been there? No. And she kind of like, she looks a bit awkward. And like obviously she's got like a whole kind of new range of kind of like visual cues and stuff. Because uh, mm -hmm. it's not like her weird hologram projection that you're looking at anymore. It's actually just a person with a face. And um, she kind of like runs a hand kind of nervously kind of through like the side of her head. Like here where she's got it down the one side. She's like, um, so have you been here before? Yes. I think. How did you get out? Uh, I walked through the door. Okay. Where is the door? Well, normally query would point to it and it would be behind me or behind him. Okay. Who is query? Or where is he? I believe he would say that is the question. Um, I don't get it. Me neither. Um. And I think at that point maybe she just says like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> and he like puts like a hand to like her lips as if, oh no. Um, and I think we'll fade out from you there. Um, and we'll move over to the elevator. <laughs> it's just as Shakos kind of sat down with her back against like the kind of elevator wall. as she's kind of just resting. 
kind of almost like this is the first time she's not been tense, you know, for mm. quite a while. Um, obviously, you've got that fucking body that you've took with you um, that's dumped oh, yeah. on the floor. <laughs> yeah. um, that's my resell subject. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, what's the conversation like in the elevator? Um, I think like was probably whistling. I can't whistle though. So please don't whistle on, on the recording, Scott. It's awful. <coughs> no, please don't. It's fine. Oh, no. Um. Hello. Uh, yeah. I was just gonna say Zig would probably be quite quiet. Um. He's still um. Oh, why, why is he quiet? A bit in shock. Um. I feel like well, obviously um the sort of whole adrenaline rushed from previously from um getting all the the fighteroos and the, the, the dancing with the 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 dead um <laughs> uh kind of would would you know put put like his mind had been hyper occupied on that um and now that he's sort of coming down from that i think his his brain's immediately going back to the fact that you know he killed the pilot um mm. He's not in a, in a super happy mood about that. Which before you might just have recruited a new pilot, Shakos might be like pilot. <laughs> it's like Shakos, can you pilot? Nope, dead. It's, uh, <laughs> oh, well, crap. I guess uh, Zora would probably like kneel down. Um, he's probably like just sit. Well, he was probably standing back against the wall or something. Mm -hmm. Um, would probably just like squat down. And he'd probably just say, "He's like, so how are you holding up?" You'd kind of just look up and go, hmm. Um, yeah. I think as used to like, having that exchange, like Shakos looks over at Lyco and then she just kind of like mouths to you. What age is he? Um, <laughs> what age is he again? Sleep. Zig? Six or seven? Or, uh, is it a teenager? I can't remember. Oh, is it a teenager? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and so he's, he was... Twelve, which is oh, you're not kind of, um, yeah, um, sort of Yasoki between, like, that sort of weird young adult age. He did not get a year older. No, he did not get a year older, exactly. I did not get a year older, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yous were, um, yous were all blipped and he wasn't. <laughs> or vice versa. I guess he was blipped, than yeah. Sort of explaining. Isoki mature at a different rate, blah blah blah. He would just he would just sort of shrug and uh and you know not not mouth but you know actually quietly say Young <laughs> back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah and you can see that there's like a, a bit of a like a disapproving look as if, you know why does it feel like you've you know, stolen a I child? Just my child stole it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your fucking warlord army. I, I have no Batman said this is a good idea. Um, <laughs> um. Ah, those old space comics. But yeah, so she just kind of has that wee look. And uh, is there anything else that Zora says to Zig then? I would probably just say, well, I don't know where you've come from, but my universe, yes, isn't really an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> Zig would sigh. Um, Sometimes it's better to speak what you're thinking. I just that's a really I bad subject for Zig right now. Because <laughs> sometimes it would have been I, better. You know, I think he started to tear up a little bit, and um, like I, I, I didn't didn't mean it. It, it well, it wasn't. I, I uh. yeah, Zig is the equivalent of like a twenty-one-year-old, by the way, human. Oh wow! So yeah, he's basically me in real life, except a bit younger. <laughs> Yeah, so like an Ahsoki mature at 10 and the humans mature at 18. So, according to this chart. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, mature. Like, yeah, that's pretty vague. yeah, he yeah. still had less time to learn things and exactly. about the world. Exactly. was making, was it two but sessions ago? It's like, regardless of what rate you mature at, you simply can't get 20 years of life into 12 years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Maturity, in my opinion, through experience. To be fair, Zig's doing a lot about that. To be honest, he is time traveling. He's mind fucking oh, yeah. people. Like he's he's, mm -hmm. he's making the rounds. 
So <laughs> doing the rounds, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, getting there. But anyway, to so go back to your conversation. Are you still um, hung up about Alice? <laughs> wow. Mm. I mean, come on, Sheila, you didn't know that would happen. No, of course not. Exactly. <laughs> I think we kind of look up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that that would be it. I, I'd probably actually stand up after yeah. I said exactly. Like, <laughs> I'd probably go into cross the arms road again. Like... Yeah, okay, yeah. Final. I mean, I'm a, I'm a vesk. I'm not going to be, like, a psychiatrist. <laughs> 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 yeah, and, like, but you, I, I but you are his captain, right? You're definitely his <laughs> captain, so it makes sense that you would weigh in a bit. Um, mm -hmm. What about uh, Lyco? Is Lyco going to jump in at all with anything? Um, given that they're having a bit of a, a moment. I mean, he he's kind of said his piece regarding the, the situation to an extent. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if if, if here and now he's going to feel the need to say anything. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how Zig is going forward. Um, yeah. Excuse me. You a little bit. Uh, what I think I probably am doing is sort of listening att <laughs> uh, um, attentively uh, and. and picking up on it, but I don't think I'm interjecting right now because I think I think he's, you know, he's not overly concerned. Goes on another few hours, maybe he will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um I think I think Zig would still be quiet, but um it's more like contemplative than well I'm sure what shit. Just like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So more like, hmm, hmm, as opposed to, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you get me. I get you. Do I? Um, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it does it make sense? I, I got him. I got him. You okay, that's fine. I got him. It's more than a thinking state than an actual worried looking state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so does MD say anything else to each other in the elevator on the way up, or...? I'd probably turn to Shakos and probably say, so, where did these things come from? And I'd probably I'd be pointing at the, the zombie, my research subject. And she looks at you, and she looks at that, and she looks up at you again, and she just looks over at Lyco. <laughs> you don't know, do you? <laughs> Now this is more of a, is this a rude trick question? Kind of look that she's got on her face, as if, seriously, that's... Yeah, that, that's I, I probably not without even actually looking over towards the captain. Mm -hmm. I will just sort of announce, mm -hmm. as if unto the very world itself. Well, it's almost certainly one of the uh, Bone Sage's servitors. He nods to himself, pleased to have come up with a mm. more suitable and less uh, prejudicial wording. <laughs> Aren't the Bowen Sages protecting Absalom? Question mark. Ocular Ridgeries. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually look around <laughs> at that point. Yeah, I think Shakos is like, protecting is a very um, broad word these days, it seems, the last year or so. On Absalom, and she's like she kind of like slides herself up the wall like with her like her elbows if you know what I mean like really awkwardly as if it's actually quite painful for her to stand. Um, so she kind of like stands up now, leans in and kind of like adjusts her like kind of uniform a bit, and she's like pulls out her gun, starts checking the charge weight on it and stuff like that. Back in the holster, she's like she points at the the body. Look at its clothes. I assume you then attend and look at his clothes. Yes, he is. There aren't any of those uh, sigils, and she just like double taps the back of her hand against uh, Lyco's chest. There's no house markings, no sage sigil. 
this was somebody on Absalom. Emphasis on was. Hmm. I think Zig would kind of be staring at the body. Um, it stares it's, at you. Uh, it's likely when they were attacked, the... Uh... began to actively recruit. You see her like shudder. So none of us signed up for this. Pulls out the gun again and just goes What's the next step? And Shaquille looks between the two of you awkwardly. We get back to our ship and we get the hell off this station. I like that step. She just kind of nods, and I think, um, yeah, like we maybe like fade out, and then it does that shot of the elevator shaft and the fucking maglift, maglift elevator zooming away up beyond, and then we uh, click back into a uh, the space with a uh, next five and Alice, and you've just got Alice like running off away into the distance at this point, shouting door. Alice. And she just kind of like turns and goes, Yeah? I don't think that's working. I'm trying something. How do you know it's not going to work unless you try something? I get to be able to try something, but... Uh, try it once or twice seems sufficient. Yeah, but sometimes, 15 times helps. Okay. So that was 14. Door! And she just screams again in one last <laughs> kind of loud time with like her arms on her hips. And then uh, obviously nothing happens. So she just slowly starts walking back with a weird kind of like splash noises as she's walking on that kind of weirdly solid water surface. <laughs> she kind of just slumps in front of you and like sits down on the ground. Or, <laughs> air quote, ground. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll find a way out of here. Well, I hope so, because this is kind of boring. She kind of like just like touches the ground. Um, perhaps we can contact Query. Okay. And she kind of looks up at you kind of excitedly like, how do we do that? I don't know. I, and then I just say query. Oh, so when I shout on a door, that's not good enough, but when you just shout someone's name. This is different. Oh, okay. The doors don't listen. My doors listen. No. She kind of like thinks back to her time on Baskerville. <laughs> uh, you listened, Alice, and the doors did. Work, networked in. Then um, she like pushes herself up, like goes to like wipe off the weird liquid which isn't on her, obviously, and uh, kind of looks to herself a bit confused. And she's like, "Okay, I believe in you." Kind of like puts a hand on your shoulder. <laughs> So Query's not answering to his name. Yeah, like, there's no response from that. Um. I think I'll go for that uh, old trick of sit down and try and focus on it. Give it a bit of a meditate. Yeah, um. go for it then. Let's see. Try and will the door mm. into some sort of clarity. Go for it. What will that be? Uh, roll will. Will. Mm. Can you roll will as just a will? I think I'd be a will save, right? Or save. Will save. That's your natural one of this session. Mm -hmm. Yep, good, good start. Yep. Cool. And I think 
as you like we have a close up on like you with your kind of closed eyes and like you slowly start to like frown a little so we start to get like the kind of creases in your forehead um like the frustration of the kind of the, the facial plates moving and then uh, you just hear and like the kind of weird white echoey nothingness you just hear is it working and then you open your eyes and Alice is right in your face no Alice it's not working she kind of just makes a face like with a kind of like her like corner of her mouth and her cheek all pinched together like hmm I mean it may take longer than that and perhaps the distractions are unhelpful what if the distractions were what we needed though what if what you you're focusing is the problem maybe you need to loosen up and she like, starts like yeah. shaking her arms as if that's her loosening up how do you suggest I loosen up <laughs> she looks at you and she just laughs like a proper kind of like belly laugh where she actually is kind of caught off guard a bit by it and she like holds her stomach a bit she's like oh this is new <laughs> and she's like I don't know and then she offers you like a hand to get you to stand up I take the hand yeah and then she helps you up and she's like how long have we been here um I don't know and she kind of looks around I think we just have door and there's still nothing how about we swap why don't you sit down and think about it and I'll run around shouting door okay so she sits down and then she just like closes her like eyes and you see her scrunch up her face like a kid when you tell them to concentrate <laughs> and she just kind of sits there she doesn't say anything <laughs> what do you do that doesn't seem particularly. And she puts like a finger up, and oh, she like yeah, to stop nice. you to like. Kinda, like I'm concentrating. And okay. she just points at you, or like at least where she thinks you are, <laughs> with her eyes closed still. Sigh. I turn and walk off. Mm -hmm. and just start saying door. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> do you want to roll for me? A uh, another yep. will save. <laughs> going great with this will yeah it's brilliant um, but yeah so you is it maybe just that Nyx doesn't believe shouting door is going to work is that maybe why it's just yeah, I, I think that is he is yeah. doubtful he is just mm -hmm. humouring the situation yeah and I think um, make a what's the word Make a sense motive check. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> even better. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> sense motive? Yep. <laughs> White, apparently. 15. Oh. Impressive with my minus one mod. Wow. Minus two mod. So, you come to the realization that you don't believe in that, right? So. Mm. You don't believe that shutting doors is going to work. You don't believe that sitting meditating is going to work. So, is is Alice right? Are you the problem here? Are you like happy here? It's safe here. So, yeah. What do you do? What does Nick do with that kind of moment of going? Oh, because <laughs> I'd say you've probably walked off a fair bit from her. You sat. She's got her scrunched up concentrating face. Mm -hmm. I so. think that's where I think Nix5 kind of sits down, but not his usual kind of contemplative cross legged meditation way. Mm -hmm. Just sort of falls backwards. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the legs sprawled out. Um, and yeah, kind of thinking about the fact that, yeah, it's. It probably is a. A weird emotional block point. Yeah. and what would it be yeah. like what's like let's explore that a wee bit as well because obviously these are relatively big questions but like so 
for Nix to get here, you basically try to boot into Alice in a way to wake her up, but in doing so, kind of shut himself off. So, what was it about? <laughs> I'm, I'm loath to say the words the real world, right? I'm loath to mm. say the real world, but um, what was it about like the physical reality you came from? that uh, is something you're not eager to return to like what is it just the fact that like you've got the you're in a situation where this creature has been unleashed it's caused a whole bunch of chaos uh, you seem to be involved with people that are like absolute space arms dealing bastards you're captains of vest you're, you're like <laughs> your new pilot has killed the old pilot like do you know what I mean like basically your best friend killed your yeah. waifu um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so sorry. But like this is all stuff that'll be going on in Nix's mind, whether or not he realizes he's not yeah. processing it, right? So like what's the Yeah, talk to me. Yeah, there's the immediate shittiness of the situation. Mm. Um I think there's probably a step beyond that that kind of by the nature of what he is, who he is, he's always kind of a bit out of step with a lot of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Um so he you know, he goes around trying to be the detached analytical one. Mm -hmm. well, and he goes to the dog. Mm -hmm. Great. But like um and yeah, I think there's this world or plane or whatever it is mm -hmm. is empty and boring as it seems. It's not full of the friction. Yeah, it's not got chaos in it, right? It's it's yeah. almost a a room of blank order, right? <laughs> Yeah, there's almost what he's looking for when he goes meditating. Mm -hmm. Is that ability to be at peace just for a moment. Um, just so happy that Alice is near with you, so good luck. <laughs> yeah. But and there's probably a little bit of anxiety of the fact that he feels stuck here. Mm, yeah. Um, and his friends are out there. Mm -hmm. and but I mean, it's kind of. And yeah, because it was kind of your responsibility to like fix the ship and get it ready to jump, right? So there is that that level of a responsibility and what if you can't at the same time, do you know what I mean? What if you're the reason to get stuck there? Because you're the one that rigged the engine to get them here in the first place, so Yeah It's uh Because Nick's five didn't want to go to Absalom so that must be weighing on your mind as well, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean I think he hasn't wanted to be along for a lot of the journey, mm. and not in the sense that he's been dragged by friends um, by the captain or whatever but he was never happy with the relationship with Aspis mm -hmm. he was never I think he's not happy with mostly with his relationship with the world it's almost like a bit juvenile mm. but he doesn't want to believe you know in necessary evils or yeah because yeah. it's almost like the you know be the change you want to see in the world type vibe and like, we don't need to be in bed with these people, so why are we? Like, we could have been better than this, but we have chosen to justify mm -hmm. doing this. Yeah. Um, yeah, he kind of refuses to adopt that pragmatism in his heart that mm -hmm. perhaps Lyco or the Captain would carry. Lyco and Zora <laughs> embody, you <Wow>. know? <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. But yeah, like, yeah. But that's it. So there's, like, there, there's so many layers of walls that like Nick's five has pulled up around himself, which you know, mm -hmm. it's maybe half the reason why you can't return. Yeah, which is weird because I think he obviously he puts up Akaton as was his go-to as a safe space. Mm -hmm. Um, any most chaotic and uh, yeah, exactly and right. <laughs> clean, but it's you almost like it's almost a unknown quantity the right like the chaos of Agaton is expected whereas mm -hmm. the chaos anywhere else showing up is unexpected um, yeah so yeah like the, there's a comfort to home that way right you know mm -hmm. um, like you know when you're visiting home and you've got like chaotic like relatives that visit or like just a million kind of like lesser children that wander in and then you're like okay cool uh, at least I know this noise and this is familiar noise even if there is a lot of it um, yeah, and, and in the slums of Akaton as well, there's kind of being that survivalist pragmatist is almost excusable. Yeah, because it's that or you cease to be, right? And then you can't yeah. be in the world to make it better if Which you cease to be. Absalom, it feels less excusable. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Um, and it's interesting because, like, <laughs> like Nick's five's opinion of Lyco. You take a f- like, you know, a full stop there, and then we look at Lyco's sacrifice he made to save people of Absalom in general, um, or to give them a chance at least, as he sacrificed his own personal kind of knowledge-seeking experience, like what is my existence now, and he gave mm-hmm. that up by saying to Sindel, "Go, please be the Many battery." Ways. True hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sindel, thank you. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh. yeah, and it's it's very interesting. I also just kind of wish we got the cutscene of him just walking his way down to be the battery um, from like the ripped open mm-hmm. kind of space of uh, the Starstone because I'd like to see whatever would get in his way. But yeah, so I think with that, like, is there like a sudden realization of all this or? Is there like a new approach to the problem? Like, what's what clicks in next five? Um, I think it's just that realization that he is as much a part of the chaotic world um, as the rest of them. Mm-hmm. I think. Portrays this stern, stoic. Um, priestly engineer trying to fix everything but to kind of look inside and see all that turmoil it's like that's not because of the world that's because of him mm-hmm. um, and it's that he doesn't this white space isn't him necessarily yeah. it's almost like this is maybe who you thought or what you thought you wanted right yeah Whereas I guess that's almost where his self image would start changing then a bit yeah, because like you think this is what you want, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and you're starting to realize that no, it's not specifically that. It's just that this is maybe what you needed until now, and now you're realizing yeah. actually no, it's okay if things are messy. It's okay if things are clouded. Even the idea of kind of being weirdly involved in a pseudo relationship, as it were, since it isn't, it isn't right. I am. Yeah. With the Alice situation, um, but even that. Is very un unnix. It's very messy. It's very um, chaotic, you know. Uh, and that's why he's had such a hard time taking the steps in it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I don't know if it's if this world is kind of based on his personal view of himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think that smooth appearance I described earlier probably started shifting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's probably it's slow, but it's it's more texture. Yeah, he is looking more personally. Yeah, um, I think that makes sense uh, as well. Like just as a kind of a growth thing, um, you know, he is he isn't staying like stagnant. You know, he is evolving himself. And uh, yeah, I think um, as you're kind of lying there, almost a kind of kind of spread angel type, kind of just lying on the ground, thinking about all this. Um, I've got like all the kind of we just see you staring kind of up into the camera, and we've got all the little kind of like lines of energy pulsing through all your veins all over you and I uh, I think we get this kind of in our monologue as we're discussing it like we're we're seeing all these flashes of these things that you're going over like your life at Akaton, your life with the crew certain key decision points seeing things that happen like the cocoon etc the even just the down to delivering the the crate in the first place with the use um, Whole, like downloading Alice etc you know a whole bunch of flashes that we get and I think we just have this moment of you being like oh and like kind of almost your eyes like doing that kind of slightly brighter white light um, as you fall through the water of the floor mm-hmm. and then we just have this shot from under the water as you like fall into it where it's all black and you come up from like the light and uh, yeah I think we have the almost weird kind of you kind of taking a breath as if pulling your head out of water um, as you like stand up off of the weird mess of light that is Alice um, lying on the bed in front of you in the room mm-hmm. um, and then as like you're kind of like blinking through the light uh, what you're looking at is <laughs> vastly different to what we, the scene we'd left behind so if we just pop back we've got you guys with your new icons Ooh. And yeah. They've digivolved. They, <laughs> they, they pretty much have. What a way to summarize and uh, undercut You're my well. beauty. Um, 
Oh, look at that! You're most welcomed. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's an X. That's another problem. We'll get to that. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, let's say uh, have the scene where like the light fades. Like probably half the room's scorched to fuck as well. Um, <laughs> it's just like everything seems to have been kind of half like mutated and melted and twisted, and the bed's wrecked. And uh, as I said, you're kind of like sat back, um, propped against the wall, and. Uh, she kind of like stands up and just kind of just screams a bit, going ah, and then kind of turns to you, and she's like, "Door," and then we close from you guys, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I, uh, I think that crossfades over to you guys leaving the elevator, um, back in like the the very far side of like, like, the like the plaza exterior, if you will. Um, uh -huh. Where like the service elevator entrance would be. So yeah, what are you guys up to? The elevator is open. Shakos has got a gun, propped and ready. Just see, shall we? And start running, <laughs> cause let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> and like as you say that, like she's just she just like double taps like your shoulder. I I don't mean just shoot she twice. I mean she just taps you. Uh, like, tap, tap, tap. Yeah, <laughs> and then she's like, right behind you, big guy. And yeah, I think we just charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just charge. Alright, cool. I think he'd pull out his knife just to look more intimidating than charge. Who's a Sig? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, you can pull your knife and do that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, right, so. Use a. I want to give me some athletics checks, maybe, to book it. I'd rather not. I mean, not particularly, but okay. You can just walk back if you want. Like, no, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> Meander, saunter. <laughs> you and who? <laughs> <laughs> can I just take like a a a, a debuff, Are like a penalty, and lift up zigs and start running? <laughs> You've got a corpse to carry. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll do both. I'll take like a minus five. <laughs> I'm joking, actually. I'm joking. I'll fuck the corpse. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. Corpse. I mean, I, I take it back. Can I? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, so, but actually, I mean it. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, the usual expectation that is Zig just falls behind, right? Like it's just he's not that he's uh, he's got way smaller legs than you guys. So even yeah. you with a big fucking corpse, the corpse seems to impose you in no way. Um it's this big heavy bulky Lashunta guy that you've just got slug over your shoulder. Um But yeah. Uh, I'd say you just make it back, you know, within say what, half an hour or whatever of skating mm -hmm. through all this once you leave the elevator. Um and yeah, like you just get there, the ramp is a uh, Obviously down because why would it ever be up and secure? It's this ship. Um, mm -hmm. You know, people go off. Oh, let's go steal stuff from that ship. No, that's the eleventh hour. You don't want nothing off that ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So, how do you just reproach the ship? Uh, relieved. <laughs> <laughs> Relievingly. <laughs> that's a word. <laughs> Relievedly. <laughs> Relievedly. <laughs> um, yeah. So he's all like, can I get back on the ship? And then uh, Shakos looks at the thing and she's like, how did you get in here? Because obviously the thing's like trashed onto the uh, the plaza, like the park plaza, which does have a um, name. I keep forgetting the name. We have a really smart android. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Nyx. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Jatembe Park, that was what it's called. That's the main plaza park. That's the official name. But yeah. And Chakos just looks around and goes, Well, as long as it flies. 
and then hurries up the ramp. I would probably just kind of think to myself, I hope so too. <laughs> 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 um, mm. It'll fly. Mm. So yeah, uh, he's around oh, the ship. Awesome. He's around the ship again. Sig's um, first thought is to immediately go to where um, Alice was left. I withdraw my blades. <laughs> Just so we're clear, uh, and we're not wandering around with them just protruding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I assumed uh, they'd have to have been retracted for you to use your gun anyway earlier, so... Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, you're right. So unless you put them out in the elevator again, then... Yeah, because of course back. I, I got the gun. Yeah, you're right. Good yep. point. I forgot about that. It's okay. It's okay. Got you covered. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, I so... I just I'll wand on to the cop, but... Of the best. Yeah, so I think, um, Zig, do you even notice the fact that, uh, well, A, all of this area here is trashed. Don't remember how much of that you remember. Um, all of that's trashed, and so that basically means three of the escape pods don't work. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, would you even look in the engine room? Would you even care? I don't think so. I think he'd, like, tunnel vision and just run. Yeah, so, like, next, what do we see when uh, Zig bolts all the way through to... That room. Um. Yeah, so I think it's probably next getting to his feet at that stage. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think all the practical things like armor would still be on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, weirdly, it's just like you, your f yourself, not like the stuff you wear, seems to have changed. It's mm -hmm. not so much that you. Like the, it's not like you just get changed entirely to like a new action figure. It's just that you've unclipped all the attachments, changed the toy out, and clipped all the attachments back <laughs> on. Yeah. Yes, I think it's because um, uh, I mean, Zig, you might not actually recognize I what you're looking at. I don't think you would because you're looking at this them. instead of Nyx, the Nyx that you're used to, and then only slightly more masculine, and then you're looking at like this, which just looks like some kind of cyberpunk woman. For a, for I us. think Zig would drop everything that he's holding. Right, okay. I think it is well, his knife <laughs> clattering on the floor, and he just looks up and goes, uh, uh, "Um, Zig. Captain." Uh, I guess I would. And like maybe Billy. So like you get to about here, right? So. Just before Zig shouts, right? We have you. Are you going to notice something in the engine room? Are you going to go in and investigate that? Or are you just going to keep walking on to the cockpit? What would it be? Um, I probably would hear... I would have heard Zig shouting Captain by that point. No. No, okay. Um, you weren't far behind mm -hmm. Zig when you were moving anyway. Basically, okay. after you've made your decision here is pretty much when Zig's going to make his moment. <laughs> So they've seen something going on in the engine room. Hey, I'm just, would you have noticed, or would you have gunned it like the way Zig gunned it all the way through the ship? I, I, I'm pretty sure I said I'd probably just wander back, so I'm probably just like walking. I wouldn't have been like pure. Well, like, we'll, we'll solve it with a perception check, right? Why don't you roll perception, perception and we'll see if you hear any nonsense from the yeah, engine room. Let's, let's let the dice decide. Mm -hmm. Perception. I probably see that. Ah, so you probably at least hear um, a lot of crazy things coming from there. What the hell is going on here? Open up the door. <laughs> yep. <And there's, laughs> like as the door opens, um, it maybe only opens halfway, and there's like electricity sparking everywhere. There's a weird white light glowing everywhere. The yeah, the engine room is quite different from where it used to be. Um, and you recognise uh, the wonderful S. Kate, who's trying to obviously fucking mastermind the universe here. I'll probably just see her and I'll be like, oh, you really need to stop coming onto the ship uninvited. <laughs> she turns to and she's like, we really need to solve the uh, the fact that your ship won't fly problem first before this place explodes around us. I mean. That sounds like a next uh, job. Your android committed suicide with his weird robot lover. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you speaking about, woman? She just kind of like absent my like thumbs over her shoulder towards like obviously the area of which you know is the crew quarters, and then she just is like, "If you're not going to help, please shut up." You must be talking crap. I've got to go see Nix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> and then, Suicide pact. And then, <laughs> and then you hear, then you hear Zig, show, Captain. Okay. Which is a great timing because you've just been told Nix committed suicide, and then Zig shouts, "Captain!" Really worriedly. Yeah, I have a bit of a flutter, uh, and then I start like jogging towards. <laughs> 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 yep. You see the same thing I described for Zig. Uh. What have you done to my android? And who are you? Now, keep in mind that he will still be wearing everything Nick's would normally wear. I know, I know, I'm like, I, I think I would maybe recognise the clothes and just put, like, it's more like a joke, what have you done to my android? And mm. like, but I would actually be genuinely like, who are you? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I'm not your android, Captain. Um, I'm an android, and we'll love you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? And I think Alice just says, I'm confused. Huh? Huh? Who? What? Who are. With a recognized voice. Who are you? Voice? Yeah, like it's, it's Alice's it's voice, definitely. Voice. Yeah, it's definitely Alice's voice that you hear. <laughs> um, but I, I don't think things observant enough. <laughs> it definitely seems, right. though, that as I said, she looks very much like a proper android now. Like an actual, like, weird halfly biological halfly. Like how, mechanical. How do you keep doing that? I I just ask questions and then sometimes people answer them, Captain. I mean the change into the body. What's going on? And she just looks down. And she goes, "Oh, oh!" And then she actually just like freaks out fully and like kind of scampers back on the bits of the bed up against the wall, like she's trying to get away from herself, but obviously can't. Uh, this time it's different, Captain. Oh, I can't look at myself. And she just says that to, like, the room. (laughs) Yes, I I don't think you're a suit of armour anymore, Alice. Oh. You're you're an android. And she kind of just, like, starts looking at her hands. I feel it's weird. She kind of just, like, starts waving at herself. Yeah, it's messy. It takes some getting used to. Is this how all our droids are made? <laughs> and she just looks <laughs> to you as well, Nix. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, Captain. No, this is anomalous. Good, because it'd be really awkward if you were my dad. <laughs> There's an actual just slow blink from Nick there. <laughs> um, <laughs> we call that the sexually inappropriate but really awkward blink. <laughs> <laughs> well then, um, I'm glad to have you back. i am point at Alice. Glad got a problem. to be captain. I would point at Nick and say, but we've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> when As don't per we- usual. <laughs> Something up with the engine, and how did the escape get here? Uh, I also have stand guard. Ah, well, she's, sick. she's a good guard, I suppose. Um, it's like I was wandering, but it's fine. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's currently trying to fix the, the you know, her escape route, quite frankly. <laughs> she said she's committed a suicide pact. Um. I can see there's some misunderstanding there. <laughs> um, Maybe you'll need to explain at some point. <laughs> yes, I'm working on that, Captain. I will tell you once I have an explanation. But yes, For now, engine. <laughs> uh, Zig, don't worry, get to the cockpit. You need to fly us out of here. Zig would kind of take a second, blink once, and then just nod and bolt. <laughs> Uh, kind of too confused to, to question <laughs> like, anything at this point. Alice kind of puts her hand up awkwardly. 
Alice. So am I not the pilot anymore? Did that also change? I think while you're still figuring out this body, it may be best that you assist rather Shit. than handling the controls. And she kind of looks down and she like does that thing where she awkwardly extends a leg, moves it to the side, puts it onto the ground. Almost like, you know, basic instinct, but really awkward and not at all sexy. <laughs> and then she just kind of like stands up like a weird kind of, you know, baby deer. And then she's like, no, I got the hang of this. And then kind of just slowly, weirdly walks very deliberately. Like she's like pretending to sneak out of the room. But really it's just because she's awkwardly walking. Yeah. Can I make a stealth roll to see if I could have been successfully listening in the entire time? <laughs> sure, yeah. Okay. Sure. Wait, one. Yeah. So cool. we'll put you in the canteen, I guess, and maybe like you've sat Shakos down. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't know what I'll ever say when I walk past Furler, but you know. Well, the door would be closed again, right? So maybe you just. Because yeah. maybe by the time you and Shakos what had like. Cap doing it, actually? Well, you'd have had the closing up the back hatch, right? Maybe saying something comforting to Shakos, and then by that point you'd maybe have heard Captain from Zig, right? So maybe you didn't have time to even deal with the SK situation yet. Maybe that's still a new surprise waiting for you. So as Alice is walking out, I'd probably just address her and. It's this random new android woman walks out, yeah. Yeah, I've been listening. I know mm -hmm. the situation. Yep. And I don't know what would probably just shout, uh, you know, Hey Alice. And I think um, she just finger guns you, like, from the hip. <laughs> and then uh, just walks on. <laughs> he shouts, I like the new look, after. I knew you would. <laughs> probably just be like, be like the two elves that like, huh? <laughs> like how? <laughs> himself. Um, and then I think I would uh, give a quick nod and uh, be right back to Shakos and pop in to visit our uh, other resident android. <laughs> yeah, and Shakos just like slowly munching on something she's found in a cupboard. I hope it's food. Me too. Actually, no, I'll, I'll loom in the doorway. I'm a doorway loomer. That's the kind of guy like this. <laughs> he's angel, basically. No, he's not. Um, <laughs> not at all. Bow, uh, bow, 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 bow. So, you've had an interesting day. Yes, I trust you have too. Um, yeah, no, it was pretty, uh, it, wor it worked out pretty well. I, I think we've uh, we've been quite successful, and Captain brought back a carcass, so that was. I don't know why he did that, really. Where um, have you put that, by the way? I probably just dumped it in the cargo bay as I walked in. It's probably like some weather in here or something. Spoils of war, I guess. It's it. I'm sure he has his reasons. Uh, we need to find out what we're dealing with. <laughs> know your enemy. <laughs> Dear, dear uh, <laughs> <laughs> I found uh, this guy, and this guy is brilliant. Let me just pop him in. Right, so, uh, look at him. Look how glorious. Oh God. <laughs> this is his body that he's still. <laughs> Dr. Vesk, <laughs> that's his name. His <laughs> name again. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So, yeah, I, it, it probably would just be a case of checking base, so I don't think I have much more to say, but. Uh, uh, you should probably introduce yourself to the, uh, edition. Which edition? I've already seen, uh, S-Kate. And that's maybe when you realise s -Kate's on board. Ah, uh, okay. I hadn't, so that's new information. <laughs> My colleague? Uh, yes. Officer Shekos uh, is on board. I'm glad the rescue was a success. Yeah, maybe this is the that's point where Nix Five realizes that's why they went away. Yes, because <laughs> you're like, well, I need to fix the ship, and I need to fix Alice. You were quite focused before. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, so I think that is he decides that yes, it's time to greet the guest. Um, as like I was requested, mm. and I had some through. Yeah, so you head to the canteen. Oh. 
Yep. Yep. Those doors are generally open anyway, so. I don't know whether the conversation was it ran its course, but uh, no, no, it's true. <laughs> Nick's being the still awkward. Mm -hmm. I was, I was. Uh, uh, his intent was partly to bring him up to speed and partly to get a look at what had changed. <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, like again, it looks like somebody else just wearing Nick's clothes, right? For the most mm -hmm. part, I think. Um, what's the best way to put it? If somebody had been beat up a lot in, say, boxing. And then they had to have like surgery to fix all the broken bones and such, where they would just quite look just a bit uncanny, you know. Yeah, I think okay, it's let's go for that. Yeah, it's a very you everything aura wise says next five clothes next five, the actual body the face like no green LEDs anymore like it's all that's new. And yeah. Whereas Alice is almost like a, as I said, she's a 3.0 overhaul. Do you know what I mean? There's no clunky black body anymore. Wow. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not quite the same degree of difference. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, oh yeah, he, 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 like I would want to. It's a proper of, metamorphosis yeah. for her, at least, you know. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think like was a curiosity stated and he expressed the information he needed to express. So, we good. Yeah, so next you head into the... Yep. And you just see her looking up from like a bowl of something. Hi. Uh, off of my hand. To say, Chakos, I understand you're our guest. Uh, she like wipes her mouth at the back of her hand and then uh, kind of like scrubs it on like her, her kind of uniform and like puts her hand out. Like, Officer Chakos, pleasure to uh, escape hell with you soon, hopefully. Nods at you. I hope so too. Uh... Next five, by the way. Oh, good. Uh, Shakos um, one, I think. Maybe. No walls. Yet. Um. Anyway, I understand. I need to get the ship working again. So she looks like she's just been like a rabbit in the headlight panic, <laughs> as you say that. She's like, Lyco. <laughs> she just screams. <laughs> I, I will. Uh, Actually, uh, she I'm probably here. screams Quint more than Lyco. Yeah, <laughs> no, that, that's also yeah. probably better attention as well. Yeah. So she just screams Quint! And it just manifests at the doorway. Yeah, I think like she goes to like I'm run fast. out the doorway anyway, and like maybe you do that thing where like obviously like next you can be heading towards the engineering. And then maybe you like bump into her like right there. And she's just like she just hands you the like half empty bowl of whatever it was she was eating. And uh just hands you that as you kinda like have to hold it and then she's like uh, what do you mean your ship doesn't work it, I don't I don't know I'm, I'm not a mechanic they'll, they'll fix it they're good at they're good at this we've got you know a few people really um, I mean we're technically down at, at one pilot but it turns out that uh, sick is also quite a dead hand there so you know we, we, we can get our, our, our androids um you, you've met Nix Five here. He's very competent. He, 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 he's 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 good with machines, but not like in a. Of course, he's good with machines. He's an androids way. In an, he's actually good with machines because he knows about them and and, and is very capable. With she just actually walks past, like she brushes through the two of you, um, <laughs> like kind of pushing, and she walks a bit, and then she stops before going to the cockpit, and then she turns. She goes, "Okay, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I supposed to go?" Up the stairs. Okay. And then she like turns back and then she heads and she goes She stops and she starts like nope, nope, nope and she just sees like Zig and Alice stop and probably just both turn and look at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, Nope, 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 nope. I just I need somewhere to be that isn't somewhere important. I don't fly ships, so I would point to the spare room. I don't know what one's a spare room, but I would point to a spare room. This one? Is that a spare room? I guess Nexus room, is it not? No, well, that, that was Edgar's. Room. Well, one's Nexus room. I have no idea. Um, I think it was probably the one closest to the Ooze Bay. Yeah. Was it that one? Yeah. Because yeah. so I feel that like that's, that's where we put Edgar. Yeah. yeah Nick spent most, most of his time no, in wait, engineering. I can anyway. remember Lyco and Edgar speaking in this room. No, that yeah, but Edgar was in a room for a while. <laughs> mm, really. um, that the, 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 yep, this is Lyco's room. Was, oh, this was Emily's. I feel like this was your room. 
I feel like the one that you put Alice in was your room. That might make sense. Because Zig is straight across from... Yeah, so I think that is your room. So, technically this is the spare room then. The one that the thingy commander, whatever his face was. Um, from the... not the high commander, the... God. Radiant Supreme. Radiant Supreme. Yeah. So you put her in that room. Uh, yeah, so she'll just be somewhere. Which is handy. <laughs> so that, it's that or she's in the way. And that's really it for her. So uh, yeah, Nyx, I think we follow with you then. I head through to the engine room. Yeah, yeah you do. And as you walk in, you just see yes, Kate, be like, so you're back. Like, not even looking up from her control console where she's obviously, like, kind of jamming weird, kind of fucking white crystals into it. I'm not questioning uh, the fact that you thought you committed suicide, that's <laughs> fine. I understand you're spring spoons. <laughs> and you're not guarding. Uh, that's uh, not entirely true. I'm fully aware of everything around about the ship. Uh, everything's fucked. And uh, as soon as the ship is fixed, we can go. Good enough? Or do you want to debate more? Uh, I good. want you to move out the way of my engine. And she just points at this weird fucking crystal monster. She's like, it looks like parts of the internal engine have now grown out of the engine. And they're like going into other fucking conduits in the room. Um, so yeah, it looks like some kind of weird fucking... What's the word? Fiber optic quartz monster. There you go. Yeah, I didn't expect that dog tape to hold forever. Um, nope, these are my modifications. This will actually get us somewhere in one piece, maybe. Two, if we're unlucky. But one, maybe. And she steps back from the console and just waves at it as if, be my guest. It's unconventional. I'll right, step up and have a look at the console. Okay. And uh, try and figure out what she's done. So my engine. Yeah, do you want to roll engineering? Where is there is? Cool. Uh, nothing that she has done seems to be any form of conventional engineering at all. As in, you don't <laughs> know what she has done. You know this isn't things that you would consider within the scope of engineering. So she just. Taped it together with magic. Uh, it's more to do with the engine shouldn't grow into the ship. It's a mm -hmm. piece of tech, and this has definitely grew itself some fucking crystal limbs, and it's like sort of like power conduits and fuel lines and various other things. This isn't swarm tech, is it? I mean, you have no basis for that. Mm -hmm. But it's um. Definitely, like, as I said, fiber optic quartz monster. <laughs> yep. I feel I was very clear on how vague I was about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, y you know that uh, you have no idea what she's done. Yep. But the engine's uh, pulsing away. We'll talk about this later then. For well, now. So long as there is a later to talk about, that's, that's good enough for me. Do you want to close the ramps? And uh, yeah, I think the ramps are closed. I think that was done. I think it was a uh, like uh, did that with Shakos. Um, I was just trying to anything to get her out of my engine room. <laughs> 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 Whatever it is, it's weird, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, I don't really know how else to explain it. You've kind of covered it really weird, and you don't like it. Um, yeah, I was just getting used to the normal chaos. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, and you go build every day life. And you go build and push the limits. Let's see if I can just go build this just now very quickly. Give me two wee seconds. Tint this to be white. And then let's dump this in here as well. There we go. So it's definitely as I said. Some a bizarre quartz monster. There. <laughs> oh, 
Are we good to go then? Did that just go black for everybody? No. Just, no. just me then. Just you. Nope. Yeah, no black for me either. No black in black. Bizarre. I just. Why did that do that? Why you do this? Um, control Z. Hopefully that just magically undoes it. It's because. Right, give me a second. I need to go find how I get this. Right. Regardless of that, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here so I can fix what's happened. And yep, we'll wait. we will reconvene in say fifteen minutes. Hi. See you all in fifteen minutes. Yes, speak to everybody soon. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.